Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy NikeX22 here and welcome to the first episode of Let's Talk Sports. Um, so we today we are going to be talking about uh, the NFL playoffs in the English Premier League so far through this throughout this year. Um, so on the AFC side we or for the first round buys we have the New England Patriots and the Kansas City Chiefs both have a, a, a buy on the AFC side. And on the NFC side, we have the we have Dallas, the Dallas Cowboys, and the Atlanta Hawk and the Atlanta Falcons. Two amazing powerhouses that will probably still uh, that will probably take over in their sides, and they will probably play each other in the divisional game or in the con cha bleh, conference championship game. Same on the other side of the AFC. So the two wild card games that we have. We have the six-seeded Miami Dolphins playing the three-seeded Pittsburgh Steelers. And we have the five-seeded Oakland Raiders against the fourth-seed Houston Texans. On the wild card games for the Detroit, or we have the six-seeded Detroit, Detroit Lions and the Seattle Seahawks are playing each other. And we also have the New York Giants playing the Green Bay Packers. So... Um, that, those are basically the powerhouse teams, or the powerhouse teams are the first and second seed, obviously, because both of those teams have been doing very well. If you see me looking in this direction at all, it's because I'm looking at my screen where I have all my stuff. Um, and so let's talk about the games, just a bit. Um, so I think New England will, uh, I think New England will probably, I'm pretty sure that, or let's talk about this week's games, so Sunday's games, so tomorrow's games. We have Miami against Pittsburgh. Um, I'm pretty sure that Pittsburgh's going to win as long as uh, they can stay healthy, and, or as long as they can uh, continue to play the way that they have been playing and not give up as many points as they did against the Cleveland Browns like they did last week during Week 17. Um, as well with the Oakland Raiders. I think the Oakland Raiders will actually play a little bit better. It's just they were in, I'm pretty sure they're in, they are in, they're in Kansas City's division. So they were tied with Kansas City. It's just that Kansas City had, uh, had a better, um, uh, had a better conference record, or, er, or divisional record. And one second, let me actually look something up for y'all. Um, He broke his fibula in one second. I will actually tell y'all what a fibula is. If you don't know, fib a fibula is part of your leg. So he broke his leg. Um, he broke his leg and he felt it immediately. Um, so if if their current quarterback, I don't know his exact name, but if he can pull through, they, they I think that they could still be a really good team in the ASC conference. Now for the NFC, um, as long as Matt Stafford uh, is feeling better than he was, and if he is wearing the glove, he should have been icing it all week, and should not have, or he should have been practicing as well, just not taking hits because if he was, or and they need their O line needs to. Uh, needs to improve and play as a whole and fill in gaps, uh, then they will definitely protect Matthew Stafford and Matthew Stafford might get some time to throw the ball and that he will be playing better than he was if he wasn't, if he was not hurt. And let's, and then, and then the Seattle Seahawks, what they need to do is they need to send Five guys, at least because they have a, an amazing secondary, they need to send five, six guys every time to get to Matthew Stafford to take him out and try and get him out of the game. But even though I do not like to see injuries in football, I like er, I like Seattle's chances of winning this game if they send five to six guys every time. And I will be watching every game, most likely, as if I can. Um, and 
Uh, so with the New York Giants, um, I to be honest, I really don't want them to win, but uh, they need to be blitzing Aaron Rodgers every play because they have an amazing secondary. Um, and if we play, if Dallas plays New York, uh, which I will be updating y'all next week on, uh, is if New if New York. Uh, what they need to do is they need to blitz Aaron Rodgers from the left side mainly because they do not have a very sturdy or if you're on defense you need a blitz from your right but from the offensive line's left because it uh because they do not have a very good left side of the line even though they have Josh Sutton on the left side they have Brian Bulaga on the right Brian Bulaga is their right tackle and he is a monster he's like six six or something like that and like. 250, 260-ish, and he can block very well. And that's basically all we have for the um, the playoffs for right now for the 51st Super Bowl. And now let's get to English Premier League, which we have um, Chelsea in the top of the league with 49 points. Liverpool has 44 Spurs had Totem Hotspur has 42 points. Man City, hooray, they have 42 points. Arsenal has 41 points. Man United has 39. Everton has 30. West Bournemouth Albion has 30. No, 29. And, yeah. Um... The teams that are facing relegation this year are Sunderland, Swansea City, and Hull City. All three of those teams will be most likely relegated if they do not step up, step it up. Crystal Palace is also very close to being relegated. They are 16 points, as in Sunderland has 15 and Swansea City has 15 points as well. Hull City has 13 points unless they win the rest of the games and Crystal Palace loses the rest of their games. But Hull City will not win the rest of their games, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, they're not gonna. They're not gonna. The Hull City is gonna get relegated. Crystal Palace might. But Chelsea just running away with the division, uh, with sixteen wins, one draw, and three losses. They have forty-two goals for, and fifteen goals against. Their home games. They've lost one game. They've won nine. They have 28 goals for and six goals against. Um, and then they also have on, on away they have seven. They have seven goal seven wins, one draw, and two losses for 14 points and nine uh, for 19 points for them and or 19 goals and nine against them. But for my club, Man City, they have they have thirteen wins, three loss or three draws and four losses. They have six at home, three six wins at home, seven on the road. We're we've been doing better on the road than we have at home this year. We just need to um, get it together and play very well. Uh, I think we should play a lone striker uh, with a. I think we should run a 4-4-1. Uh, it would be a whole lot better for us, and we might be able to score some more goals. And I would have Kevin De Bruyne at Cam and Ertz and Ford and Gunduan and uh, whatever his name is. I forgot his name. Oh, and uh, Fernandinho at the central midfielders. And then just throw Jesus Navas and someone on the right and left, and then we play our normal defense and with Claudio Bravo in goal. And I believe that we would play very well in that formation and that we would be better off and we might be able to get, uh, we might be third, maybe. If we, if, um, if we can be, uh, the Spurs, or if the Spurs lose a couple games and we win a couple games, if our next couple games are on the road, then we will most likely be ahead of, of, uh, the Spurs. Because we have been doing amazing on the road rather than terrible on the uh, at home. So that is, and then also for the NBA, um, the MLB isn't really 
that exciting because I don't think they're playing. But uh, for the national or the in NCAA, uh, we have uh, we have Clemson playing Alabama, a repeat of last year. Hopefully, Clemson can pull it, pull away with it this year because uh, Clemson has. Has had an amazing year, and I believe that they should be able to beat uh, Alabama. But uh, Kyle Corver actually uh, uh, okay, yeah. Let me pull up the standings uh, for both conferences, and I will tell you all those, and especially the Dallas Mavericks conference, which you probably don't want to hear. Um, so the first thing that you, so the playoff picture right now, I would say if it stays the same, it would be the Cavs, the Raptors as the one and two, the Celtics and the Hawks at the three and four, the Hornets, Bucks, Pacers, and Bulls are the eight teams in the Eastern Conference if it stays the same, which it probably will not because the Washington Wizards are uh, half a game behind uh, the Chicago Bulls. In the Western Conference, it's Golden State being a powerhouse again, being a one and a half games ahead of the Spurs, Houston Rockets at third, LA Clippers at fourth. So the same top four that they had last year. I no, actually the the Thunder were in the top. They were number three last year. Uh, but the Jazz, Memphis Grizzlies. The, the Trailblazers, and surprisingly, the Thunder are in 7th, with the Trailblazers in 8th. The One second. I'm actually going to pull up some stats. Um, I'm going to tell you all how many... Uh, uh, one second. Where is this? Uh... Yeah, Russell Wilson, Russell Westbrook has 31.4 points per game. I'm going to tell you all how many triple doubles doubles he's at. He's averaging a triple double with 31.4 points per game, 10.3 assists per game and 10.5 points rebounds per game. That's crazy. Uh one second. How many triple doubles has he had? Uh Come on, tell me triple doubles. Um, in the past five games, I'm pretty sure he's had a triple-double. No, he hasn't. He didn't have one against the Rockets. Holy crap. Dang. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is, this is it for the first episode of Let's Talk Sports, and I will see you dudes next time. Peace!